What is up guys? It is a brand new day today. Say what? It's a brand new day today. Say what? It's a brand new day. Yeah. What's good? So right now me and Adam are out here in Los Angeles, California, man. I want to talk about a topic. Okay, whatever. It's, 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 it's a sensitive topic. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's about marriage. All right. We we'll all have our own little thoughts about marriage. Do we? Yeah, we all have thoughts about it, right? Turn yeah, up. we do. All right. So as you know, me from Yemen, I know from Yemen too, and you know, Yemenis always tend to think alike, you know? If you're from Yemen, you guys always think you have the same mindset of everything, you know? One thing I, I, I find really weird when it comes to culture marriage, culture marriage I find really weird. Arranged marriage is cool, you know what I'm saying? I think arranged marriage is like, there's nothing wrong with arranged marriage, but I, I think culture marriage is kind of weird because like the way they think of the other person, like there's always, I, I think it's all culture, a lot of cultures are all similar because they think, um, they always think about class, like, oh, if you're, yeah, because so basically think, saying a lot of, um, a lot of culture, a lot of cultures, they only allow you to marry that culture. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to which say. Which is, yeah, which grimy. Is, I think it's grimy as hell. Yeah, it's messed up. Like yeah. so, like a, a certain culture, they, they won't accept no other person unless it's that same culture. You get me? Like a Yemeni wants you to marry a Yemeni. A, uh, okay. it, it, Palestinian wants to marry Palestinian. Egyptian wants you to marry different. A Lebanese, you have to marry Lebanese. This, that, it's like Pakistani, you have to marry Pakistani, and. I feel like it's grimy, man. It's not cool. It's messed up as hell. It's so messed up. Cause you know what? I feel like they, uh, like I feel like this is the young culture, I guess. They think, they think even if you marry someone that's not from your village, they they believe you should marry someone from your from your neighborhood, from your town. If you don't marry someone, if you marry someone outside your town, they believe you're gonna end up in a divorce, which is, I think it's stupid as hell. And I feel like it's so dumb. I think maybe the mentality of like Arabic parents that so you have to marry. They want to keep that chain going. They want to keep the. The culture going you know, like like these days, the, the, especially they try to force marriage upon you, I guess to marry your own kind, like your own kind. But but something I'm trying to say is that like we, we should be more open. We should marry. What 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 if I feel like it's so messed up? Tell me, talk to me. What happened? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I know I take like mentality of like a lot like you know of a lot of people. Yeah, I'm from Yemen and everything, you know. But like. I disagree with like the mentality I have. You know? the, the thing is with with Yemeni with Yemeni people, they're really strict. They're really, really strict. It's so strict to the point that sometimes some things may be like like messed up. Like let's say I fell in love with someone who's from Syria, and he fell in love with someone who's from Afghanistan. You know, uh, <laughs> and let's say we, we love that person, and and our parents, not saying not saying my parents, his parents, saying that. Let's say with with Yemeni parents, most of them would be like, no, you can't marry her. She has to be from Yemen. We think that's um, we think that's like uh, it was like kind of like wrong. Did they think if you ha if you marry your own kind, you'll be you will never be in a divorce. You'll be happily ever after, which is not true because yeah. these days I I've seen so many Yemeni like people, Yemeni guys, Yemeni women who got married to other Yemeni guys, other women, uh, and other Yemeni women, and ended up and ended off really really bad. Like they broke yeah. up and it's. So many divorces going on because of this situation, and I feel like, as long as you love the person, you have to have a nice heart. I feel like, yeah. go ahead, man, exactly. live your life. Like, like do it. Like but also, you want to make your parents happy too. That's the hard thing about it. You want to make your parents happy. So, yeah, you, you you're stuck in a situation where like you it's wouldn't all, know what to all, do. It's all about the blessing from the parents. Like, but it's some like some situations like it's was. I feel like it's really messed up. Like some people were like, oh, like some parents. This is what from I heard from people. They were like, oh. Like they they'll have someone in mind for you, like your their son to marry. And if the son doesn't want to marry that person, they're like, all right, if you're not gonna marry this person, then uh, mar get married when I'm dead or something like that. Like I feel like that's grimy, bro. Like it's so it's so messed up, honestly, you know. But like uh, for me, I I, don't, I never want to do nothing unless it's with my parents' blessing. So, it, like you want your parents' blessing, but at the same time you want to be happy. So um, I'm I'm just, I feel like I'm just lucky that I have really open-minded parents. So. Um, I don't know, we'll just see what I see with my future hold, but in my, in my future, I just want to be happy with the person I'm with, no matter what culture they are. No matter. So, um, yeah, I, just, I, we, I decided to make this video, but I just want to like, see, uh, hope you like, open some as minds. As, I feel like as long as they have an amazing heart, it shouldn't be, like, this world shouldn't be, like, separated to that point, like, to the, oh, you have to marry your, your, your culture. It's good to have cultures mixed, and, like, you see their culture, and they see your, your other culture, and, like, you can mix that, and and then your kids can see both sides of culture. I, I feel like mi mixed children are the coolest, cause like let, let's yeah, say I'm let's say I'm half Mexican, and half Arabic. I can go to the Mexican culture. I could go freaking dance and like do some salsa. Hey, and then yeah, I can go to the exactly, Arabic culture and do exactly, some belly dancing. I think that's 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 really cool. Yeah. So the fact that some parents and like 
some people would get really strict with it. You have to marry this, you have to marry that. We feel like it's not like cool. The question is, but the question is for you guys. Let's say you guys are in this posi position. Give them the question. You guys, you want to marry someone out of your culture, and your parents are no. You have to marry. You have to marry someone in in your culture. What would you guys do? Would you go on and make yourself happy and marry the person you want to, or would you go on and make your parents happy and marry the person they want to tell you they want you to marry? I don't yeah, know. You got I, guess, I guess yeah, but either, that is a problem. Like uh, I guess like in a lot today, I feel like a lot of people are going through problems like this. So, yeah. um, I want you guys to comment down, down below your thoughts. Like, what, what do you guys think? I, I'm more, I read all the comments. Like, I, I'm really like interested to see what people think about you know certain situations and stuff. So, let me guys know what you guys think about this kind of stuff. So, I'm really interested, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give it a giant thumbs up. Thanks, my man Adam for. Help me with that opinion and stuff, you know. You. I like I like your opinion too, you know. Gotcha, it's man. interesting. Everybody has their own little opinion on everything, so it's yeah. really interesting. I'm really interested in this kind of stuff, you know. So yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another daily Slimmy vlog. And the slimification is outcha. Slimmification.